This is my direct opinion. And with all the stupidity in the world with gun controls and David Hogg going wild, I thought maybe I would reminisce a little bit and bring you a story from 2016 when gun horrors were real and they invaded a kindergarten. Or guns? Well, don't let them take it to school because it could get them suspended. It happened to a five-year-old in Brighton, and tonight Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen has the fallout as the district defense a decision critics say defies common sense. She's only five years old, and she loves bubbles. But when this little girl brought her brand new princess bubble gun to school in her princess backpack, she was immediately suspended for the day. They said that it was a fake weapon and that I needed to come get her. This mother asked us to conceal their identities to protect their privacy, but she wants parents to know what happened. I appreciate that they're trying to keep our kids safe. I really do, but there needs to be some common sense. A spokesman for School District 27J declined our requests for interviews, but in this email defends the suspension, stating it is consistent with our district policy. We checked, though, and district policy is for fake firearms that could reasonably be mistaken for an actual firearm. Firearm. Princess bubble guns? Probably not. Zero tolerance policies often mean zero common sense. ACLU's executive director says these out of proportion punishments have become a national embarrassment. Well, there you go. Another gun horror, this time in the kindergarten. A five year old suspended for bringing a bubble gun to school. Well, this is my direct opinion, signing off. Please subscribe to get more horror stories like this one.